since I got such great feedback on that video, I decided to do another one. So thank y'all for all of you guys who commented, even if you didn't comment. Thank you for watching. Um, seems like y'all just as petty and nosy as I am. <laughs> My hair, let me tell you what I'm doing to my hair. Yesterday I washed my hair. I'm in the middle of the Urban Hydration review. So I washed my hair yesterday and that official review, I don't know when I'm gonna post this. More than likely I will be posting this chit chat video after that. But I washed my hair the day before. And to be quite honest, my hair is feeling a little funky. And look at my ends, I need to dust my ends. Um, but I kinda don't want to, to be quite honest. Um, what I did yesterday is I put my hair in twists and I banded. it. Well, now I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do today is to take this down, look over my hair, and then reband it, okay? Because I'm gonna actually set my hair using their styling products tomorrow. I'm gonna be doing a two strand, you'll see that, but by now you will have seen that tutorial. I'm doing laundry too. Um, two strand bantu knots. I can't do regular traditional bantu knots, so let me hush up y'all and start taking this down. Oh yeah, my hair feels dry. So there's a young man who um, commented, how do I get more subscribers? So this is the thing, the longer you're on, this is what I think, the longer that you're on YouTube um, and that you are engaging with your, your current subscribers and with other content creators, <laughs> sorry y'all, that's how you will get more volume and more traffic on your channel one of the suggestions i would have and this is actually a suggestion too from beloves is to go on other like uh content creators like my channel and other youtubers um and comment you know say great video video or not even that because that's really basic you know engage with that other youtuber as other people will look at your comment and be like okay i want to see what he's about and they'll click on your profile and they may subscribe to you what you want to avoid is going onto other content creators I, I find this a little annoying if i see someone that says hey i just watched your video can you subscribe to me or sub for a sub that that gets a little old but instead do a little manipulation I'm <laughs> just being honest, not necessarily manipulation, but you don't want to come off as overbearing. You know, go to another YouTuber and be like, hey, I saw your video, great, and just write a comment. I will more than likely look at someone's profile who just left a comment than someone who says, sub for a sub, sub to my channel. I ignore that because everyone says that. You see what I'm saying? Um, I've been on YouTube for a while. I started making videos, it's been about six years. So to be making videos for six years and have roughly 16,000 subscribers, that's not a lot. I know people who've been on less than I have and they're well over 50,000 subscribers. Um, but I think people get caught up on the subscribers and not your views. Well, first of all, I would ask, what are you doing this for? What are your intentions? Um, if you're doing this to make money, baby no if you're doing this for views your subscribers are not going to matter because I'll give you an example donna's journey is a smaller youtuber she does mukbangs and i can't remember her last count but she has less than ten thousand subscribers however her views she gets over a thousand views on her channel I don't get a thousand over a thousand views. I'm talking about every video she uploads is up to a thousand or over a thousand. And she's a small YouTuber. There's people who have 20, 30,000 subscribers. There was someone I had saw, this is a good example, Morgan Butter, Rip, Butter Ripple. She has a high subscriber count, right? Y'all know who Morgan is? She used to live out here and then she moved back to Baltimore. Hey, Morgan. Um, but her username is Butter Ripple. She has like 50,000 subscribers, however, she'll have like 400, 500 views. Yeah, that's what I would suggest that you do. Be original, um, yet creative, and be consistent, okay? Um, by now, you guys can see by now, I have a lot of random videos coming on here. The main focus is still hair. However, um, I'm vlogging, I'm doing cooking, I'm doing these chit chats. Uh, I'm doing product reviews and I'm doing styles. So yeah, it's a lot of random stuff. Um, I personally like channels that are like that. You know, as long as it's not too chaotic, you know. I have always been, and not to say you're not, I've always taken 
my approach to being a YouTube creator, very humble. I would be okay if 500 people were subscribed to me because that's 500 people watching my videos, y'all. I I looked back at some of my older videos and when I hit a thousand subscribers, because that's a big deal, right? Y'all, I think I am gonna cut my ends. Hold on, let me go get some scissors. Yeah, no, these ends need to be delivered. You see how ratty that, that's looking? I mean, you can see through that. That needs to be cut. You see that? That, that, I'm not gonna cut all of that, but some of this needs to be let go. Let go and let God <laughs> do those ends. <laughs> but yes, that's what I would recommend. But I want to ask y'all, who are some of your favorite um, vloggers besides me? Because <laughs> I don't watch a lot, to be, to be honest, I don't watch a lot of natural hair YouTubers because it's not, I've already, we've already talked about this, but it's not what it used to be. If I get recommendations, then yeah. Um, overall, I watch a lot of vloggers. Um, I do look at makeup tutorials when I'm inspired. But I guess what I'm trying to say, I look at more lifestyle videos than hair. Yeah, so I definitely don't feel like there's a natural hair community anymore on YouTube. That's just not. It, it Girl, it was canceled when Shea Moisture was canceled. <laughs> No, it's not due to Shea Moisture, but uh, yeah, no, there's not a natural hair community anymore. So I was just talking to my best friend a couple of days ago. She asked me, you know, had I caught the last episode of The Real Housewives of Potomac, and I'm not really watching that show. I feel like some of these reality series, it used to be that a show would have eight or 10 episodes for a series. I feel like some of these shows have damn near 20 episodes. I, so I get bored. After the eighth one, I get bored. So no, I didn't watch it. I told her, I said, no, I didn't watch it. And I probably won't catch it. But one thing that we were talking about is one of the young ladies who is getting married, she's engaged. Her name is Candace, And she's engaged to a man who has three children by two different women. And she eventually wants to have children too. And we were talking about that and She's like, and I've seen a lot of other comments on other people's channel that are basically like, why would you, I understand she's in love with him and you can't control to a certain point who you fall in love with, but out of all the people you choose to get with someone who has all this baggage, that's, you know, that's not me saying that, that's what I'm saying from other people. And my best friend and I were talking about that and she has a child and she ended up, um, marrying someone who didn't have one so he accepted her daughter and they had a child together that's different so i can see it happening several ways you guys i feel like the person who already has kids and they are marrying someone who doesn't oftentimes they're from the point of i don't want any more kids especially if their kids are older they're like i've already had kids i don't want any kids well you need to take that in consideration when you're marrying someone who doesn't have kids sorry y'all my camera can't cut up you know that's something you need to take into consideration with someone who doesn't have kids you know you're getting with someone who clearly loves you and wants to marry you and i feel like these are discussions that should be had before you even get married and that's something that you should ask yourself are you willing to date someone who has children if you're willing to date someone to have children, there's a big difference of are you willing to date someone who has small children versus adult children. If you are a young lady, 35 and under with no kids, are you willing to date someone who has young children? Then nowadays it's like a lot of people have multiple kids. Are you willing to date someone who has multiple kids with multiple baby mamas? Um, <laughs> girl, it is what it is. It's hap it happens, y'all. It very very rarely will you find someone who is 30 plus years old and don't have any kids it, it's out there i was there you know i didn't have jb till i was what 34 and you know see i'm glad look see i'm glad that i'm looking at this now because my hair is very frizzy all right y'all so my hair is all down so now all i'm gonna do is retwist and reband band. i know y'all think you're like why did you do that there's a there's a reason there's a reason there's a reason so yeah, I don't know. I think that it can work, but it's gonna be a it, it's not gonna be a fairy tale. Um, 
I think that those are conversations, like I said, that you should be having before you get married. Um, and yeah, you can't control certain things, but while you're on the first date and you ask someone about, hopefully they would tell you by the second or third date that they have kids. I don't see too many people letting them know, you know, all their credentials the first date. By the second or, second or third date, you should know. And if that's a problem, you shouldn't continue the relationship. Now, I'm sorry, that's how I feel like, if you have a problem with that. But it can happen. I mean, I know someone, she had three kids and her husband had three kids and they ended up getting married now they didn't have any kids together but that worked for them um i know someone else who already had a child and um her husband ended up wanting kids and she didn't want any she didn't want any so and oftentimes i've heard from some of my other friends you know, and these are friends who are 50 plus years old in the dating game, and the men that they're dating, they're paying child support, or not necessarily child support, they have financial obligations to multiple children, so oftentimes these women are at a better advantage financially than the men that they're interested in. So those are things you gotta consider, you know? Girl. Ooh, Lord, let's just stay single. <laughs> Let me see. So yeah, y'all, nothing else going on. It stormed like crazy. Those of you who don't know, I live in Phoenix, Arizona, and it stormed so bad last night. Um, it was so funny, the, the neighbor's tree fell over. Literally, it uprooted and fell over. What happens is that it rained, and the soil uh, gets wet, course there's moisture and then it's windy it was very windy and it just blew the tree all the way over into the road it didn't blow over in, on the house thank god um so when we were i was dropping jb off at school jb is my son those of you who don't know he's my five-year-old when i was taking him to school he was like oh my lord he is so animated i'm not sure where he gets all that from He's like, oh my God, mama, look at that. He said, oh, we gotta move. We, we, gotta, we gotta move, we gotta move to Texas. And then he's like, oh no, um, Texas is worse, mama. And I'm just listening to him, y'all. I'm not saying anything. He's like, oh no, I think Texas is worse because they had tornadoes. Oh, we gotta move to Africa, mama. Can we move to East Africa? <laughs> All right, baby, whatever you say. Okay, and now I need to do something y'all you know thank you to one of you commented on my last video that and it was a couple of thumbs up on her comment that you know you would watch my channel even if i didn't do new product reviews it's just so i could get to that weight slip thank you girl you know the problem is not just you know that i have a, i have an itch to want to try new products sometimes but i think i can let go of that so i may you know that I'm taking a break in uh, October. I may just stop for a whole entire year uh, reviewing new products, or I probably won't do as much. Does that make sense? Like this past few, I focused on one line the entire month. I did that for like three or four months, right? Um, and now I'm getting into back into the habit into reviewing multiple products in like one week by different people, different lines I should say. So what I'm thinking about, look that looks an absolute mess. What I'm thinking about is starting my growth again um, this winter and limit the reviews to like, seriously, like one line every three or four months. Yeah. <laughs> because it takes a couple of months y'all to see some real, um, growth and if you're changing up products like literally every other week yeah no nah, you ain't gonna see anything and i'm literally i'm using cleansing products from different people i'm using styling products from different people you know so i think i may do that and i need to brainstorm that's why i, I risk money back that i want to brainstorm about it basically just focus on growing my hair and i won't be doing any challenges you wouldn't right now 
disclaimer right now i could say i would never do stuff like onion rinses tea rinses i did that video never again um i won't do stuff like uh what is that rice rinses and i know some of you guys do that what has worked for me in growing my hair three things simplicity low maintenance that goes hand in hand and ensuring my hair is moisturized with low maintenance and protective styling being the key leave my hair alone that has really helped me with hair growth um so what is that what is that so yeah i may start that in the fall and extend that for an entire year like seriously but i'll have to think about it because i still want to do hair videos you know um because i just haven't been consistent you know yeah someone else had asked me why why i didn't use a natural head why i didn't use um nappy headed jojobas um pre-poo and yes i i responded i do like that pre-poo still but i don't use the same products I literally use different products with every wash day. One, I have so many of them. Um, and two, sometimes I'm just grabbing stuff just to do my hair. All right, once I'm done plaiting all this, I'm going to take the goody stretchy bands to help stretch out my hair. And then tomorrow, we will um, do a 24 hour fast and pray that these Bantu knots, <laughs> when I set them, come out good. I may want to cut a little bit of this a little bit. Yeah, I see. I want to ask um, Antoinette, I don't know if I'm pronouncing her name right, Busby, if she's at all concerned about shedding because I know she had experienced shedding with this last baby and you know, if she's going to be doing anything um, in advance to, there's really nothing you could do. I was it's all hormonal, so that's different. Oh, y'all, this is tight. Holy hell. Oh, Lord, hold on. Hold on. Girl, girl, get it together. Yeah, I want to ask her. I don't know if that's appropriate or not. Maybe I'll wait till the baby comes. <laughs> so let me see, y'all. Real quick, shout out to Jim Trendsetter. She's another YouTuber. She hasn't made videos in like a year, though. She's from Louisiana. Um, I like her. I liked her her videos and um she stopped making videos. So funny, one of her videos that got a lot of traffic was about the natural hair community. I agree with everything you said, girl. I agree with everything. Some of those comments were a bit much from other people. What do y'all think about that? When people make um when YouTubers make certain videos about, you know, uh, controversial stuff. It doesn't even have to be hair. Who do you think is the problem once that video is up? Who do you think is the problem? Do you think it's the YouTuber themselves or do you think it's the subscribers who are making all the comments going to other people who are making reaction videos? Who do you think are is more of a problem? Let me tell you who I think it is. At first I was going to say it's you help us. This is but after thinking about it this morning, it's not the subscribers. Y'all can't help what y'all see. It's us, the YouTubers. We're the ones that put it out there and you're just responding to what you see. So, yeah. Now, some of y'all could be a little extra, but overall, it's not y'all. You are not the problem. You should be familiar with the banding method. I'm not doing it correctly. Um, let me show you how you should really do it. Like this is one example. I'm taking this one and I'm going down and then I take another one and I just stretch it over and I go down. Some people do threading, bless your heart if you do that. And then you may take another one and you continue to go down. That is technically how you're supposed to do the banding method. Look at that, look at that neck. And then with this, what I normally do is stretch it back. So, all right, y'all, that is it for this video. I'm gonna continue banding my hair. I got a headache, I need to drink some more water. That is it. If y'all have some topics you wanna talk about, as long as it's rated PG, well, it could be a little, I don't want, okay, so this is some things I really am not gonna talk about on my channel, because I have children watching my channel. I won't be talking about sex. If you use on some freaking nick shit, you can take that somewhere else. So we won't be talking about sex. 
on my channel. Bless your heart. But any other topics I'm open to. <laughs> communion is coming up so i'll pray for y'all so let me know um and most of the time i know what i want to talk about though so all right y'all y'all take care bye